And this man approaches me and he's like, I'm this producer. You should look up my stuff, I'm very legitimate. I just think that you have this amazingly real and raw personality. So I have this great house in Venice Beach that you can live in for 900 bucks a month. And not only that, but I can hook you up with this job at this great art gallery because you speak Spanish fluently. We get together to go have drinks and he takes me to this very fancy hotel and, um, <laughs> and I get carded while I'm at the bar with him. Not that I even look particularly super young, but I guess next to a 65 year old man, there's questions. So I get carded and um, I drink tons and tons of wine and because I'm nervous and trying to really, you know, get on the ball with whatever is going on, I just, you know, didn't eat and continued to drink and I was very, very tipsy. And then the next thing I know, he grabs me. Oh, meanwhile, I forgot, we're talking about dirty old men and how, like, not to compromise yourself and doing all these things. And um, so he grabs me and he starts kissing me at the bar. And I don't know if maybe it's the New Yorker in me or, or what happened, but I, I'm sure it was the booze, but I just pushed him away. And I was like, are you crazy? Are you freaking kidding me? Because could you be any more fucking cliche? And I just like pushed him and ran out of the bar. And meanwhile, I haven't gotten called on an audition by him or his production company.